All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awakening Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today at a special time. I apologize. I had something else right before, um, but thank you for being here. And today, my good friend Sarah Messiah is back with us, and we are going to be talking about transcendence. This is a big, long title. <laughs> Allowing your <laughs> glory as a creator being to shine forth. That's right. True. And so um, some of what we're going to discuss with Sarah includes think, asking questions like, do you feel like it is hard to deeply introspect your experiences? Do you feel as if you're holding on to experiences and events that you just can't transcend? Are you feeling dejected with what's going on in the world today? And so we're going to um, get greater clarity on shifting from deeply entrenched energies, emotions, anxieties up from our past. We're going to receive a short live meditation to assist us to know our glory and our light. Plus, we're going to receive an activation to aid you to step deeper into the energy of creator support. So Melchizedek, many angels, ascended masters, and starlight beings join creator and Sarah during the meditation. So please do stay tuned for that. And for those, for those of you who don't know Sarah, she is a founding member of the Elohim Council of Light, and she works closely with Melchizedek, Ascended Masters, and Angels. So Sarah, I'm so glad you're back with us. You always have wonderful wisdom to share, wonderful energies to share, wonderful, you do wonderful clearings as well, and the processes are always so powerful. So <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here, and um, but let's just get to it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So today I wanted to uh, talk about deep introspection, really, because it's something that we are on a never ending journey of, of doing if we're doing uh, deep work on ourselves. And sometimes it is hard to look at ourselves and do that introspection and think, where can I shift? What can I shift next? And also to admit sometimes that we're wrong and that we all have regrets and especially with what's going on around us you know I think I thought well this is a great thing um, to bring to the show today because we all have regrets and things we wish we could take back and do differently so I thought I'd bring this and of course as never-ending beings of light we'll have many times in the past when we will be carrying old energies from things that we could have done better if, if that makes sense. So um, that's kind of the topic we're going to be looking at. Awesome. And we're going to be taking live caller questions as well, right? So people can, people can raise their hands or they can take their question in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. And wanted to also look at things like we, you know, when we're doing clearing, I interestingly cleared the uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the word protract and it's looking at different energies because we can regret things, but there will be things that we would have wished we could have protracted, you know, when we're looking at energy work. So it's looking at different nuances of the same word. I think I've said that before, but mm -hmm. um, definitely things we could protract. Uh, I'm sure in the bigger picture of everything that's going on, there's a lot of things that you know, once you start something, it's very hard to take back. So I wanted to also talk about what we can kind of do as a collective and, and individuals as so we don't have to be carrying that type of energy anymore. Yeah, um, and absolutely. I'm, yeah, sure from our past that, there's, you know, we've all got things we are, oh, we think back and just think, oh, I wish I could have done that differently. Or, or not just that, I mean, for sure that, but also like, you know, holding on to those energies, we can now let them go. We don't have to continue holding them on as we move forward, right? We can be okay with it. Say, yep, that's how I did it. Sure, it could have been done better, but that's how it was at the time. Absolutely. And, absolutely. and let it go. Yeah, and it's about also, we might wish we could protract it, but it's about not beating yourself up. For sure. Uh, absolutely, for things that we could have done differently, which I'm sure all of us uh, here would, there are incidents when we think, oh yeah, should have done that differently, but. Yeah, we, we tend to judge ourselves a lot and beat ourselves up a lot. We do, <laughs> we, we do. And it, it, it's an energy that really doesn't serve, isn't it? No. So it's um, looking at that and also what we want to manifest in the future. What we want to manifest is really love, peace, sharing, um, 
you know, caring for each other. So it's mm -hmm. looking at that type of energy as well. Um, yeah, having compassion. Absolutely. So for ourselves. It, it's that type of energy we want to really be concentrating on um, as a collective as well, because our thoughts are so important. They hold a vibration and everything we think we think oh you know it's only a little thing we're thinking but actually if you think about it in the bigger picture every all the energy you're thinking and projecting out mm -hmm. has ripple effects as we talked about in you know before so yeah. we have to really really think about what what we're putting out into to the world Absolutely. And it's our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our vibration, our frequency, all of that ripples out into the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. And beyond, probably, you know, because we're not just we're multidimensional yeah. beings, as we know. So, um, yeah, it's the ripples go much further than yeah, that. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let, let's start off by. Um, so can you just just really briefly tell us a little bit about the keys, like, because I know that that's how you work with the energies, how you work with Melchizedek, how you work with all this uh, information is with the keys and through the keys. So that'll give us a better understanding of how that works as well. Yes, the keys um, come through Melchizedek and we open a chamber and we are directly with creator within a healing kind of energy space. Um, bringing in angels and guides for the highest and best good for that person that I'm working with. And mm -hmm. we go directly to create a source and start clearing thousands of stories. So before a session, I would channel really what the session's about, the general gist of it. Um, it might be, um, for instance, protracting, uh, looking at events that we wish we could have attracted. So that would be about regrets, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, so we channel everything before and then we go through and it's a very interactive session. So it, it's a session uh, that the client's very much involved in. So we discuss how that made you feel. Things might come up from past, you know, um, childhood, etc. So we work through lots of different um, avenues when we're working with one thing. So normally we have a theme we're working on in each session. Mm -hmm. And then we clear it. And as we clear it, we obviously put back the opposite to the, the feelings that were there before. So it's often entrenched energies uh, that the keys work to aid to shift so that you no longer react in the same way. Um, and I just want to say there are there can be. So we might work on regret. But if we're then we have to look at things you might want to track. So there's many nuances to one energy so if you did a spidergram you could have like 17 different spikes coming off it would be the same thing so it's mm -hmm. it's really digging deep into different areas of the same kind of energy mm -hmm. makes sense because sometimes you know it's about getting that different perspective on the theme or the energy because there's always different points of view on it and different perspective it's like facets of a diamond right there's all sorts of different facets and they all have their own different energy but if we're only focusing on one we're missing out on other things that potentially could also be affecting us right absolutely because if we take for instance um looking at let's say abundance for example um mm -hmm. we need to also look at uh, which i put in my email about fruition uh, so we might have things that were blocked in coming to fruition for us mm -hmm. many lives back. So when we're looking at abundance as an example of different, you know, nuances to, to one theme, it might be blocks of, in things coming to fruition that we need to, to look at. And that's why things aren't moving forward for us. So there's so, you know, how many you know uh, different energies do we have to work on one might ask oneself when we're trying to to move forward and mm -hmm. creators uh, within my next book has given me a whole chapter really on introspection and how we're here at this time on earth with all the energies and all the shifts and we uh, came here to hold light and to do these shifts for ourselves and as we change ourselves it has a, that ripple effect, changing, you know, people we meet, um, you know, sharing 
gifts really because if you shift yourself and you don't react in uh, a negative way then the next person may have a small shift as mm -hmm. well yeah absolutely because everything that we do and everywhere that we change or we shift or we transform automatically ripples out to everybody else as well and so their reaction might be less or you know they, they might actually have an easier time of it you know yeah, than, than what we had absolutely yeah. absolutely and some of us have come here to do this deep introspection and not everyone is obviously on the same page mm -hmm, at the moment mm -hmm. um but as we work on ourselves within the collective it's there's big shifts so this yeah. is why especially you know at this time it's really important we carry on because creator well i've channeled that this is the year of fruition when lots comes to, to back to the light and there's so many energies pouring in but for this light to occur there's lots of collapsing um of of things that don't serve us as a collective and things coming up that we can all look at and think we don't want that anymore mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that energy so um lights being shone into a lot of shadows and there's lots of power struggles going on within the the whole uh, collective yeah. um so it's just keeping Absolutely. the light really uh, at this time yeah, and uh, you know, on some days it might feel difficult, but you know, to keep at it, <laughs> right? Yeah, keep, at, keep it. at it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and so, um, so what kind of questions do you want, or can people ask you today on the call? Really, if they're stuck in energy, I can discuss with uh, Mikhail's deck and creator, give them some insights uh, to what might be going on. Um, they can ask, well, anything really, if they want what they're, where they're stuck, yeah. what path they might want to take. So yeah, just fire away and uh, cows are dead. Yeah, so where are you feeling stuck on your path, on your journey, you know? Um... And yeah, do you feel it hard to introspect? Uh, any questions about looking in, you know, looking at old stuff, do you find mm -hmm. it hard? Because some things are hard to, to look at because, yeah. you know, um, we've all been everything. And so when you're on this healing journey, it is some of it, part of it is accepting that we've been everything. And in this life, we're coming from our heart. We're acting in loving, kind ways. We mm -hmm. might not have always been playing that kind of role or path. For sure. Yeah. And that's what we all have to get that, you know, at some point you have to understand this is one life in, you know, you had many more and you may have many more in the future. And so this is just one small piece. It's not, you know, it's not really that significant in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> but it yeah. feels, it sure feels like it at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And um, I, I was going to do a little reading at some point about, from my new book about introspection, because uh, it's quite handy to have a reminder that mm -hmm. you know that some of us that have been on this journey for what feels like eons of time in this yeah. lifetime uh we think oh there's something else that comes up and you think oh it's like when i uh cleared this things that you could wish you could have attracted i thought i'd never have thought of that energy mm -hmm. of attraction um mm -hmm. and so that's why i thought i'd bring that to this call today as well just to a highlight to people there's you know not to give up not to think oh this is just too hard because there's so many nuances to to yeah. look at yeah yeah absolutely okay so uh i know tanya has her hand raised and i think most people have raised their hands um some have written in the chat but uh, go ahead tanya what question do you have for sarah and melchizedek Hi, hi, Sarah. Hi, Alara. Hi. Hi, um, hi, Tanya. Well, I know I'm on the right way. I know yeah. I'm in the process of awakening, probably still. Uh, and uh, <laughs> my problem is like, as soon as I find peace in my heart, something happens either in my private life or something in the world like war in Ukraine. And I was born in Ukraine. So mm. 
it was uh, like such a big shock for me that in few days, for a few days, I was like lost in uh, tears and sleepless nights. And I went into this drama mode, which yeah. I had to wake up from again and uh, realize that it is all uh, wrong emotions. And I have to find peace and send peace to people of Ukraine and Russia and send love. And so I, it took me again a few days to kind of find the balance. Yes. And uh, so, and I had different opinion about what's going on spiritually in, in, in kind of in Ukraine and what's this war about. Yes. I'm not talking about political reasons. I'm talking like, I feel like it is probably awakening not for only for people of Ukraine but also mm -hmm. for Europeans you know and yes, maybe yes. all the globe you know so people start thinking about other people and helping Absolutely. each other and there is more kind of awareness of what's going on in the world you know not people stopped living their little lives and they started yes. thinking globally Absolutely. so so my question is how in this kind of situations of and it's not only my country i always yeah. because i'm empathic very empathic i mm. always feel for other people either it is syria or other countries uh, where the, there are lots of problems how do i keep calm how do i keep this harmony how do i kind of not get involved into this you know negativity and the kind of blackness yeah. and well, what is it, the lesson for me maybe also <laughs> well i'd say first and foremost uh as i've reiterated a lot it's okay first and foremost to be human and have some human emotions because to be an empath means we are and do at times get upset and you know what you're saying is definitely shared by all of us um that are on this journey no one wants to see the suffering and i agree it's not just you know what's happening here it's happened and is happening in many other countries oppression and this suffering um but what we can do is to continue to heal ourselves uh and as we do that we're lifting the vibration for others and also sending prayers to creator and prayers to all that are involved in this all that are suffering and i don't know if you practice any types of healing you know we can form groups together to like you know i don't know different types of healing but reiki uh rahani whatever practice um you're doing uh to continue to raise you know your vibration and really through prayer meditation and heartfelt you know love and we have to just keep praying that this will collapse uh, within the key work i mean we have to keep doing our own in work on ourselves because sometimes our work reaches far wider than we realize one little bit of work we're doing on ourselves has implications for a lot of other souls if that makes sense mm -hmm. so um it is to keep i know it is hard at times though because i think all probably everyone on this call as an empath will be feeling the same um and you know but we have to keep loving our hearts and pray that there will be an end to this really um but it's yeah, okay. we have to do our work in order you know like we keep doing our work that will help to transform the situation right so yeah, do our absolutely. work stay in peace stay in balance send out love to the the planet but especially wherever there is you know hardship going on mm. um, that's part of the work right yeah absolutely and uh you know within the key work it does work in a bigger picture so it's multi-dimensional so uh and changing uh energies within the program programs type thing is what we're working on so it has I know that from the work I'm doing, it has bigger in implications than just me or the client. It has uh, work that's more global and, you know, for all of us. Um, 
it's keep keep the faith really um and and keep and this is going back to fruition keep in mind what we want to come to fruition as a collective people because what we want to come to fruition all of us here is peace world peace everywhere now we know that there's going to be uh, within the duality there's always going to be tugs and pulls but what we want is world peace and as we if we can hold that as a collective in our heart and spend even 10 minutes a day just praying and seeing like everything beginning to heal I think that that is you know because we must remember thoughts are a vibration it's an energy and if we're giving out the energy of love it's going to affect more than we can see because energy is something we can't see isn't it we can't see love we can experience it but we can't see it but it's a vibration it's a um yeah so that's what we really need to yeah, I use visualization often to visual, vi, uh, visualize uh, yeah. peace. Well, actually, all over the world, and yeah. uh, uh, that's how I kind of, um, I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm learning to be a healer, but I'm not using like healing. I just can create love in my heart and spread it. This is what yeah. I do. Do Absolutely. that. Keep doing that. Yeah, and include that yourself healing. in that as well. Yeah, that is a healing. Mm -hmm. That is a healing. If you're doing that it's healing for you and for for others if if you know we know that everything's energy and so that vibration yeah. does does really count and the collective energy of what we want to come to fruition really is very important that we keep holding the light even though at times we all don't think about it um you know we don't we get triggered out of we go to a maybe a lower vibrational place but it's actually having that insight to introspect and think what's triggered that um you know what is that energy about and then coming back to it to have a look at it and you know I've been doing that daily I don't not everyone does this but I've been doing that daily for probably six years so uh every day I'm apart from a few I've been doing healing so uh for myself but also putting the energy out there for, for others. And I think mm -hmm. even if we can spend 10 minutes a day, as I say, in prayer or meditation to creator, one creator for all, under the, um, you know, one umbrella of love, then that's what we need to really concentrate on. Okay. Thank you. Thank, awesome. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. All right, Kathy, you want to unmute yourself? Hi, thank you so much. Hi, hi. hi. How are you? <laughs> Good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. I have a question. I'm having a, a physical ailment in my lower back, and it's it's um, quite a bit of discomfort. I've meditated on it. I have um, tried to heal it, and it's intermittent, and I don't think it's a physical um I don't think it's physical in the sense that I've hurt, hurt my body. And I was just wondering if you have any sense of what's going on for me there. Yeah. What I'm getting told or being shown is it's like feeling like um, if I say about being hunched over, it's being shown that you feel like you're hunched over. So it's kind of um, retracting from, I don't know if this makes sense, but retracting a bit from the world. That's what I'm being given. I don't know if that. Yeah, that's accurate. That. Yeah. That's and it's, accurate. Yeah, and it's a bit, uh, it's, it's like being a bit curled up. So it's being hunched over, they keep showing, keep being shown and retracting from the world. Um, and it's about uh, holding a lot of upset in the heart area as well. 
thinking to retract is what I'm getting. Okay. Uh, yeah, and um, and what their uh, creator is showing me, and what they um, showed to me is uh, that you have got the ability to really uh, stand up and uh, let your energy kind of what they show me is kind of sing like you you're bigger than you know that's what they're saying um, okay. yeah and you've got much um gifts they're just showing me that you have the ability to shine um and that that's what they want you to concentrate on is how you're going to shine and what your next steps are so that you can not feel retracted and hunched over but standing up straight and shining that's lovely thank you very much yeah and, thank you um, yeah hope that helped but okay yeah um, it does help that's very yeah. useful I appreciate yeah. that I have a question about your offerings um yeah. there's the Akashic healing yeah. and then, and then there was also the soul purpose session yeah and I'm interested in both of them and I'm just wondering which one would be more beneficial for me in my hunched over state. <laughs> well, they both, uh, even in the Akashics, obviously we, we do healing. Um, so we'd be doing healing in, in that session. In a key session, it's much more focused on um, whatever creator and gives me uh, to, to work with you because it's you you're doing the healing really uh what you're given is highest and best to work on so we always get what's highest and best for that session um and yeah so it would be really i say it depends whether you want more of a guidance of questioning and some healing or whether it, it's really deep healing because they're quite different um, because within the key session, we go right up to creator and we work our way down. So we work through many energies throughout all different um, experiences you may have lived through. And it, we clear quite a few thousand stories flying off shelves at a time. So it's quite quick. And uh, yeah. Okay. So it depends which one you feel more drawn to. And I'd ask you just if you you feel drawn to one just spend some time tuning in for yourself put your hand on your heart and just ask creator which one you feel drawn to in a, a bigger way okay yeah. i will I've done, I've, I've done both and they're both amazing um but yeah if you want specifically go for a soul purpose then i would do the soul purpose akashic record healing one if you want to do yeah like sarah said deeper healing for whatever creator brings forward for you then definitely do the key session but they're both they're both fantastic i i you know i would say do both if you can but if you got to choose you know ask is it about soul purpose or is it about deep healing that you want yeah it's just it just you know they're both great so you're not going to lose by doing either like if you say okay i'm, I'm going to do the key session you know, it's not going to be a, a bad choice, regardless, it's still going to be, you know, a lot of healing will take place if you decide to do the sole purpose, even the, in there, you're going to be doing healing work as well, but more focused on the sole purpose and what might be keeping you stuck. Uh, thank you for saying that. That just helped me a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. fantastic. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank that's you. Okay. Both Thanks. You. Thanks. You Bless you. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, thank you Kathy. <laughs> Um, all right, we're going to go. So um, Angela had a question in the chat really quickly. Um, and she says, I've been trying to develop a model to use for my next business venture. I keep getting stuck, yet I feel there is something wanting to be birthed. What guidance can you give me? Is this translating into the severe body itching I'm struggling with? It's something about uh, the focus. Um, something 
detracting you from focus I'm being shown. Um, uh, it's about being detracted from focus. That's what I'm being given. So I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so Angela, what's, what is distracting you from staying focused on developing that model, number one? How many, <laughs> I can just imagine, how many things are pulling at you, you know, um, mm. so that you can't focus? Um, but also, is that why she's having that uh, body itching? She's, in the past couple of days, this week, I guess you could say she's been, uh, her body's been severely itching, it's uncomfortable. Or could that just be releasing? Yeah. I just think that I'm not getting it. It's to do with the, I'm not getting the related uh, with the, yeah, I'm not getting the two are related. Um, it's just releasing, like Angela. Heart. Yeah, releasing, <laughs> but it could be um, colitis. Uh, I, they keep giving me a word, but um, yeah, I think it is kind of a, could it be a hive type thing? Is it an allergy she's reacting to? Maybe. Yeah. And yeah, she can't I really yeah. talk a lot because she's her internet connection is not always the greatest where she is. Uh, <laughs> I think, yeah. I think... Oh, she said probably could be, yeah. Yeah. But even then, allergy, it's, it's like, what are you allergic to? What's what's bothering you? What's bugging you? What, you know? Yeah. What's there think... underneath? With a lot of us that are uh, um, creative, it is about it's, if we were left alone to create, uh, but it's everything else in life that kind of, you know, you have calls with family, relate, you know, there's so much else going on, isn't there, in yeah. our lives often that we intend to bring something to fruition. This is where we're going back to fruition again. Um, we tend to bring it to fruition, and sometimes our timeline isn't the same as upstairs his timeline mm -hmm. and sometimes we beat ourselves up oh we should have got that out and I know I'm saying that from my perspective of, <laughs> of my book but you know there's so much other things going on and um, this year my book my second book is coming to fruition and it's about making small goals so that we can expand and get yeah. to our, our bigger goal I think yeah yeah so so angela maybe you just need to focus on what you want to create i think it's important to put some time aside you know so block time out in your diary that's yeah. what i've now taken to doing so these times i'm not working with clients this is the time i'm creating and i'm not going to because i'm a carer and i've got other roles as well so I'm not going to be doing that. This is where I'm going to sit and do this for two hours mm -hmm. and just, yeah, be quite focused. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully time. that helps, Angela. Um, again, Dave Key had a question in the chat, but it's really vague. I feel stuck and have blockages, but that's really vague. <laughs> I don't know if you have anything for her, Sarah. Who was that? Sorry. Dave Key, she wrote in the chat, she says, I feel stuck and I'm going to say blocked. I'm going to say feel stuck and blocked and moving forward yeah. in my new career or something. I don't know. I'm guessing. <laughs> She wants to do something okay. different. Yeah. Right. It's about um. Yeah, understanding where what I'm being told is where she wants to go. I don't know if that makes sense to her. It's about understanding where she wants to go. Uh, a little bit lost of uh. It's, it's having a clear direction. It's about understanding where in the heart she wants to go. That's what I'm mm -hmm. being told. Mm -hmm. um, because, uh, and also um, sometimes things can pile on top of us on and on and on and on. 
and it's difficult to uh, get to that place where we understand where we want to go as well. That's what I'm being shown. Yeah, overwhelm a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Does that help, Dave Key? Let me see. Yeah. Um, all right, we're going to go to Rebecca. Rebecca, you want to unmute yourself? There you go. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> it's been a, like a bumpy ride. Oh, bless you. And oh, your internet connection's not great. Sensitive to energy. And so, I, oh, 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 okay, like, let me take the video off so that sometimes helps, or maybe yeah. I should just go to a different room. Okay, so it's been a bumpy ride. Um, I've been working a lot on self-love and clearing um, just all sorts of limiting patterns, ancestral, past life, current life, yeah. and as I did that, my self-love went up, and then this guy that, that, I believe if there is such a thing, a twin flame that I met yeah. nine years ago, last spoke with almost seven years ago, just yeah. called me <laughs> and it really kind of threw me for a loop. And so the pattern I'm trying to clear is one of chasing after breadcrumbs, right? Like right. Yeah. Um, whether it's with a friend or with um, a lover, with men, especially, this seems like such a deep pattern yeah. and I just want to be done with it. I'm, I, I want to step into like the fullness of my whatever divine feminine, my goddess energy, whatever you want to call it, and and yeah. just put that pattern to rest. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me ask. I think it's to do with uh, feeling like you're, um, I'm getting what they're giving me is searching. Um, it's like uh, searching around in the dark. Um, and uh, that's it. And no one, uh, people aren't giving you clear directions of what they want. Uh, so that you're kind of felt uh, left out like you're searching around in the dark it's about never being given a clear direction uh, by others so you don't know where you are um, that's what I'm being shown it's like searching around they never give you what you need to hear uh, yeah so it's about clear direction. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's what I'm being told. It's about your direction and clear directions. And it's also obviously would then be about you giving them clear directions, which you find hard to do. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It does. Yeah. So it's really working on uh, speaking uh from a place where you can give another a clear direction of what you do accept, don't accept. Um, and then um, if you change that, it will be working on that pattern of being, yeah, of the clear direction type energy that creator's saying if, to work on. Yeah. Thank I you. Hope that helps. Thank you. Yeah. So it it's, does. A, it's it about does boundaries, expectations, you know, letting other people know what your expectations are, you knowing what your expectations are, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm better at sharing my feelings and thoughts about it with friends than I am with that person. So I'm kind of pissed off at both of these guys right now for how they have behaved. And so I'm sort of like, you know, you can just go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if, if they don't know what you are expecting, how can they give you what you want, right? Right. Yeah. As well. Mm. Yeah. So you have to start voicing what you need. And okay. Maybe right. Down, What's acceptable? Yeah, writing, having a little journal about what clear direction you want to go in for your life. Think about you on an island and what clear direction you want without if it was just you and 
there's no one else around what clear direction do you want what do you want that's what creators showing me you need to come from your heart of what clear direction you're going in and then start implementing that um, with words to others around you that's really powerful thank you yeah awesome thank you rebecca and that's for everybody uh, right? so, so that's that's also for dave Gee. that's also for angela right that's for everybody makes yeah. you do that and me and all of us probably <laughs> yeah thank you and that's hard that's hard it is to hard. do you know so yeah because what yeah. if they don't want to do what you want fear of rejection fear of you know abandonment fear of whatever right just conflict like i don't like conflict yeah i hear you yeah. i, mean, I don't like here. telling people you know like hey what you did was bullshit i don't you know i don't mm. accept that as you know tolerable treatment so don't but, say that what you did was bullshit. Say, this is how I feel when you do that. Yeah. It's not about the other yeah. person. It's about you and what you feel and how you feel. Mm. Right? And it's about you saying, I'm worthy of something different. This does not yes. work for me. I'm worthy of, of better. And you're and worthy so, of knowing clear direction, which clear direction you're going in. So, yeah. yeah. The clear direction also means clearly stating what you want, what's acceptable yeah. for you and what's not acceptable for you. But right? also not making it an attack. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Like, okay. Yeah, like Lara said about um, this is how this makes me feel. And I feel like I, well, it is about you don't know what, you haven't got a clear direction. So it makes you feel, for instance. Um, unsure. Uh, yeah, that unsure. Uh, depressed um mm -hmm. low confused so you need to voice that really yeah with kindness the best you can yeah <laughs> <laughs> even though we don't that... always feel like that but you, yeah it's about not making it about um them so much about you and yeah. then hoping that they'll accept that yeah i'm sorry Turn this yeah. yeah and so they you know they might have just shown up in your life right now just for you to remember and remind yourself of how important you are for you and I, she, rebecca might be gone but um yeah. you know how important and worthy you are and that what you deserve right it's just it just it doesn't mean that they're going to be in your life now forever it just might be a reminder of you telling yourself, okay, what do I want? What do I not want? What, what is acceptable? What's not acceptable? What's my, um, you know, what line is there? You know, where do I draw the line? You know, so this absolutely. is, it's not about the other person at all. It's about you. Precisely, absolutely. Yeah, hopefully yeah. that helps. Yeah. Thank you so much, it did. Oh, good, good. bless you. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Rebecca. All right, um, Vanessa. You want to unmute yourself, Vanessa? Hi. 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 How are you? Good. Thank you. I actually have been having these feelings for the past few years now. I adore the thought of helping women and leading sacred circles and having a space for women to feel like we can share and and just have the the sisterhood that I've dreamed of my whole life. And that's my greatest passion is to make other women realize how amazing they are and their worthiness. Yeah. And, but I sometimes feel a little unsure if, if I, I know it sounds silly, but if I'm worthy enough to do something so amazing and also a feeling of constantly supposed to be remembering something. And I know that sounds strange, but for years now, I keep saying to everyone, I feel like I'm trying to remember something that I'm supposed to know, Ooh. but I don't know what it is. So I don't know if the two are linked and perhaps it's holding me back. Yeah. But <laughs> uh, Well, um, the first thing that uh, I'm getting that you need to remember is... Um, that you are a creator being does that make sense 
Um, you are a creator being and um, that you have got extraordinary talents and gifts. And it's um, before uh, this work takes place, it's remembering that you're a creator being. I keep getting that and I got it as soon as um, it came up. Uh, and that you're worthy of, you are worthy of creating um, this safe space for others. And it's, first of all, you have to acknowledge that your, your own, uh, that you are a creator being. I keep coming back to it and I don't know what that means for you. Um, that you have the ability to create. I think somehow it's a little blocked with I'm going to say worry, worry, but it's really remembering, yeah, your gifts as a creator being without the worry. Uh, does that make sense? It, it does, because I always feel like perhaps I'm not worthy enough to take on such a, I feel to me that when you create a sacred space to hold for women, that it's just such an honor and it's so humbling and it's such a beautiful position to to not really lead it but to hold it because Absolutely. i want everyone to lead it yeah but you know sometimes i feel like is is this my path is this my soul's purpose because i feel it so strongly and yeah. i just love loving and seeing women together it's my greatest joy the comparison oh, the so competitiveness it. oh. that's, okay. that's it. if it's your greatest joy do it, it. Is. and, and it who is. are you who are you not to do it so why are you depriving other women from that space that's true right? thank you but, so much yeah but it's absolutely remembering that you're a creative being and, and um maybe uh, just doing some writing on what's blocking you from creating, if that makes sense. Yes. What do you think, what do you feel is holding you back from creating this? Ask that question and see, see what comes forward and just yes. write, right? That's beautiful, yes. That's a yeah. beautiful thing, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because it, sometimes it might not be what we think it is. It might be a bit deeper than, what we think it is but it's remembering your uh yeah you're this wonderful creator being and it's it's uh stepping into that and sometimes it's hard to step into it and there may be things holding us back so thank yeah. you so you, much you, you won't know until you take that first step so step That's by step true. keep going yeah thank you're, you. thinking, you're thinking too much yes you're right <laughs> thank <laughs> you awesome good thank you vanessa all right michelle Michelle, you want to unmute yourself? And then Sarah, after that, we got to go do some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> go okay. ahead, Michelle. Hi, thank Hi. you for taking my call. We were just in the process of buying um, the uh, Akasha clearing. I'll finish it when I'm done. I'm, I'm trying to move forward, um, trans transcending victim poverty. And I feel like I have a purpose. Um, with a collaboration, like with community, I feel like there's something, but there's like, there's a gap between where I am and where I feel like my soul's leading me. And yeah. so I didn't know if you had any help from me on how to move forward. Yeah. We'd probably be looking at, if I say a little bit stuck in the past, does that, anything come up from that? And about belief, belief, belief that things will uh, change. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, it's about working yes. on the belief things will change. How do I do that? Do you know? We Again, I'm going back to um, fruition. It's about making clear uh, notes about what you want to come to fruition. But it's about stepping outside yourself um, 
maybe looking back at your past and knowing that's gone, but and turning yourself around to look at what you want to achieve now rather than going back. I keep getting that you're looking back at the past. So it's blocking you from moving uh, forward to the future. So it's about trying to turn your thoughts around uh, to make clear, uh, decisive uh, um, notes about what where you want to go and what you want to do without getting stuck looking back. I don't know if that makes sense to you, Michelle, but I keep getting it, looking It back. does. Maybe it's because I'm not exactly sure which way to move forward. I mean, what, I have a lot of ideas of things I would like to be involved in, but I'm not sure what my you know, whether there's one sole purpose or what's the best way to move forward. I really have multiple interests and, in, you know, in light work and environmentalism and, but, but I'm, I want to move forward. And I just, I, again, there seems to be this gap there, but letting the past go. Yes. I'm definitely in the process of that. Um, that's good. And that's, that's uh, the beginning step I'm being shown. Okay. Yeah. And um I do see the environmental thing. Um, they're saying about pushing some doors, pushing more doors uh, to do with your that work. Um, it makes your heart sing and uh, it would step you into a new uh, energy and a, uh, of a group type situation. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it would be about pushing. Yeah, that's yeah some new doors and you'd meet people like other souls that are like-minded I don't know yeah 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 that's my desire I think that's in my destiny I'm just feel kind of not sure how to you know get past this point I'm at now but it is time to release the past more I just got past a major tragedy um February 13th so I'm letting all that go um letting all that go and moving forward I'm just I just really want to move forward. And so I, I appreciate it. I did just purchase your uh, Akashic um, Soul Purpose session. So I look forward to working with you. Oh, bless you. Thanks. And I, I you, and it'll be lovely yeah, to work together. And um, I do think, yeah, keep pushing the, the door because uh, I do think it will lead you in a, a new direction. Okay. So Thank you. Oh, Thank you, yeah. Alara. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks. Thank you. Good. All right. So um, yeah, whenever Sarah comes on the show, she has so many things she wants to do and talk about. And <laughs> <laughs> then we have to pick and choose, Sarah, because yeah. I know that we're, we're on, a, on a time crunch today. Um, yeah. So do you want to do the, the short meditation or do you want to do the activation or do you want to do the reading from your book? What, what do you want to do? Well, if we do the meditation with a bit of, uh, we'll see if we can do a little activation in it. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to focus on uh, fruition and uh, a bit of serenity because, you know, uh, making us all feel a bit more serene today. And then if we have time, I, I'll do a little reading. It's not too long, but I just think it's quite good because sometimes we get stuck and bogged down and think, take our eyes off the end result especially when something happens in life we think oh this doesn't work this is yeah. not getting anywhere with this but actually um if you do the introspection and you look at it the next minute you can feel completely different so i uh, will try and add that bit if we have time <laughs> at the end but we'll do the meditation first so that everyone can feel a bit serene if that's okay yeah oh hold on one second let me just um Let's just quickly talk about the special offer page for those of you, because some, some people are already looking at it, um, yeah. but I just want to quickly talk about it. Let me just, gosh, where, uh, it's available at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Sarah three. I'm going to type it in the chat, I hope. Nope, I'm not going to type it in the chat, but I'm going to share my screen. <laughs> All right, so we'll just talk uh, about that quickly. So there are three packages. We kind of briefly talked about them. Um, package A is the 90 minute session, 
Package B is the 150 minute session, and then package C is the um, Akashic Soul Purpose Reading slash Healing. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And yeah. um, all three of them have a payment plan available, and you can also use the uh, TACS10 code to receive uh, the 10% gift from me, TACS10. All right, so the difference between um, the 90 minute session and the 150 minute session, Sarah? Basically, we go, uh, we do a longer session, we go deeper, and it might be looking at a couple of issues in the uh, two and a half hour session. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it goes a little bit over um, because we have to uh, bring it all down and, and uh, at the end, so it might go a little bit over that, but it's quite, it's a very deep session, the two and a half hours, but we can still shift a lot with the, obviously the, the 90 minute one. So yeah. It, it, yeah, it's just, we might go do a couple of, um, say if we're looking at say fruition, we might be looking at a couple of aspects of that. Uh, so we might be getting more tangents, if you like, we might be clearing up old energy old tangents uh, mm -hmm. a, a bit deeper and then of course the sole purpose the akashic record uh reading sole purpose where is yes. it uh, uh, yeah so that is a reading but it, it's also uh we are doing uh healing within the, the reading mm -hmm. yeah. um it's not a uh reading of what's going to happen to you tomorrow it's more of where you're stuck and looking at your sole purpose and then we might look at some past lives for instance where things haven't been so great where you've been stuck and we'll be sending healing through mm -hmm. timelines there so they're all yeah healing really it's just different levels and different energies and I'm gonna um obviously use the key energy in a minute with the meditation etc yeah. just so people can have a feeling of of, of the work but we go deeper obviously because we're doing it in a group here but we'd be concentrating on um individual issues within you know yeah, an individual session so but it's just a little taster really of how the key energy mm -hmm. kind of works so again package a b and c are available at alar.at for slash show for slash sarah three s-a-r-a-h three so please do uh, take a look at that and book your session with Sarah um, to work with her. And I, like I said, I, I've done both the, the key session and the Akashic session with Sarah. Both are amazing. And um, I highly recommend both of them, actually. So just Thanks so whichever much. one you do is going to be what you need in the moment. <laughs> Lovely. Bless you. Right. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so let's do this uh, short meditation with activation with the keys and what else, whatever else is going to come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so if everyone's ready, just going to connect. So taking a deep breath, just want you to imagine a beautiful gold and platinum night coming down from Creator Alia to your head, connecting you with the light of creator. As you are part of creator, creator's child, Alleluia Elohim. And just seeing this light now stream down to your head. I want you now to imagine that light going slowly down through your body, Alia. Down and down. Gently and peacefully till it reaches your feet. I want you to imagine now that light Going down through newer, brighter, gold and platinum earth, Shalakai Aria. Anchoring you to earth.
taking a deep breath, just imagining that light now going back up through new earth, bright earth, gold and platinum earth, to it once again reaches your feet. And taking that light up through the body, slowly and surely, till it reaches your head. I'm feeling that light now at your head as we take it up and up through the universe. up to a place that's right for you, sitting with creator Ishalakai Aluya, in love, light, glory. And when you've reached that place, Connecting to Creator in a place that's yours, sitting with Creator as Creator's child. Just want you to imagine cows a deck in front of you, stepping into a beautiful energy of the keys of light. Alleluia, Elohim. And just feeling that energy now. You're protected, loved, in peace and calm. Hallelujah. Feeling your worries and conflicts. Draining away. Hallelujah. Taking a deep breath. Do you feel the healing light? Ishka Alleluia. And know we're all one within group consciousness of light. Taking a deep breath. As you feel love, peace. Compassion. Surround you. Knowing you're safe and protected in Creator's glorious light. I just want you to imagine now what something you wish to create would look like. Knowing Creator always knows and already knows what you wish from your heart to come to fruition in love and light. In beauty and peace and joy, hallelujah, in compassion. And knowing it's okay to let go of old energies. It's 
to stop you feeling serene. And seeing yourself creating something glorious, Ishka, Alleluia, with Creator, Ipkia, Alleluia. This Creator keeps you in glory, Alleluia. Love. And peace. And sees Ishka Alleluia. Your hopes and dreams. Ipikia Ishka Alleluia. And in love blesses you. Now. Feeling blessed, Ipikiaishka, knowing you are a creator. Taking a deep breath. As Creator activates a blessing, Ishka, Ishka, Aliya, of serenity, peace. And love. And remember, you are blessed. As you sit with Creator, on your journey, Ishka Alleluia. Just imagine your plan coming to fruition. I know that creator's with you now. As you feel the blessings of love, joy, peace, and serenity. And letting all your troubles and worries go for this few moments as you sit with Creator in love. Alia. As Creator's love for you knows no bounds. Take a deep breath. We're just going to anchor those feelings of love, peace, and serenity. And that you are loved and supported.
as creator reminds you that you are bigger than you know, hallelujah. Shalakai, hallelujah, Elohim. And we're just going to slowly come out of the key energy, the Shalakai. And we're going to sit back in that beautiful place with Creator. So when you're ready, just coming out, Ishka, Alleluia, Elohim. Stepping out of that energy, sitting back with Creator in the sacred space above all that's going on, Ishka, Alleluia, Elohim. As creator sees your glory and your light. Taking a deep breath. Safety and light floods around you now, within, around. Knowing we're all one with eternal light, Shalakai. Slowly and surely, we're going to come back down through the universe, Alleluia Elohim. Down slowly and surely. Coming back at a pace that's right for you. We're coming back to that beautiful ball at the top of our head. That ball of light. And we're slowly and surely going to once again take that light down through our body. Down and down. Till it reaches our feet and anchoring us back to now, taking that light down through newer, bright earth, gold and platinum earth, bringing your dream you wish to come to fruition, hallelujah, back to earth, Yishalakai, knowing you're supported and loved. And that your glory shines. Taking that light back up through new earth, gold and platinum earth. To your feet. And up again through your body. Taking a deep breath as this energy anchors in and around you. Now. as you blessed and reminded of your glory. As light surrounds you,
And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes. Hello, hello. Hi. Uh, how is everybody doing? <laughs> um, what did you perceive? What did you receive? How did that feel for you? I'm still coming back. Rebecca says that was beautiful. Anybody else? Oh. Hopefully it made you feel a bit peace and... Uh, Peaceful and serene. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I'm sure you all felt in the light all around you as well. Felt so calming and at home, Vanessa says. Awesome, mm -hmm. good. Good, good, good. Uh, Starless is holy moly, I disappeared for a bit. <laughs> good. <laughs> Trisha says, thank you, so peaceful. Oh, good. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so. Sarah, uh, Suzanne said, I felt a guidance in front of me. Oh, nice. Oh, hi, Suzanne. Lovely. Good. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, yeah, that helped everyone and to know that we can create and um, to continue on. Uh, and I think the dreams. creation, Sarah, is like just take the first step in any direction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything, even if you don't know, like, I don't know which way, just take, do anything first, and then you'll get, you know, more steps as you move forward. And Absolutely. so sometimes, you know, sometimes we take one step forward, but sometimes we take a step to the right, or we take a step to the left, you know, it's not always a straight line, right? It's not, and it's not meant to be, because we're here to experience things. And sometimes, um, you know, we feel like, oh, we're being held back, but actually, for it to come to fruition, there might be some things we have to work through first, um, you know, yeah. and uh, I think that's true for all of us on this journey. So um, take any I'll, small step, yeah, any small I'll, step. <laughs> any small step. I'll just read a little bit about introspection, mm -hmm. just because I know that all of us at, at times feel, ah, oh, this is never ending. So I thought I'd add this as a nice bit to, to finish the, the chat uh, a little bit with, but so awakening and self-introspection is not an easy plight. Know that your examinations from within are not in vain. You shall be rewarded in grander ways than ever you can imagine. For it is you creators children who know that whom they are that will lead others into the light as intended in the beginning, in the knowledge that there was no real beginning, just love and light. These are grandiose statements that many may read and exclaim, they see no end in sight, but the end is back to the beginning, to when you knew who you were in totality as creator's child, with much to teach other souls in their plight and struggles. We tell you, do not take your eye off the end result. It is easy to become disparaging of your journeying up to now. Giving up and giving in is not an option once the journeying of awakening begins. There are many higher energies and vibrations being downloaded to the planet. This is to aid the transition and to ensure many stay on the path. There are many working behind the scenes and by this we discuss angels and higher beings of light to ensure failure is not an option. So we, so we write this in, as a way to encourage you on and hope this brings renewed strength for all those quavering on their journey of discovery. We discuss briefly manifesting here as many are manifesting to no avail or so they believe. That's a whole another book and story. However, we tell you that the ancients held the key to this ability, all is energy and much can be blocked due to beliefs. Know this, creator hears your cries loud and clear even if you do not hear the clear answers. Gifts may come to you in ways you do not expect. So hold tight, dear ones, for the outcome you desire. There is a bit more, but I thought that was quite nice to 
end on as we <coughs> talked about fruition and in introspection. Um, Absolutely. And, you know, don't give up and don't give in. Keep going. Absolutely. Yeah. We all have those moments. <laughs> we like, do, I'm we done. do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Absolutely. But, yeah. But keep going and it's all good. Um, mm. So I just wanted to share really quickly. Uh, Sarah, Kathy was said, or Dave Key said, I feel so supported. Or I feel supported. Kathy said, so powerful. The light was so bright. I feel so calm and peaceful. Thank you. Um, Daddy, Daddle, thanks for help. So thanks for helping of Sarah's special sauce. <laughs> oh, and Jennifer says, very calming, feeling mellow, and there's a clarity, a clearing. Rebecca mm -hmm. says, I now understand. I understand now that I must release any anger or resentment and then speak clearly from my truth. Yeah, from your heart. Yeah. My life's work is around learning and teaching forgiveness. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a part of my process, forgiving myself for having been complicit with treatment that I didn't like. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so wonderful that you had that awareness. That's great. Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy for you. Bless you. Good. And be gentle with yourself, right? Love, yeah. love yourself, accept yourself. Yes, forgive yourself, but most, mostly just love and accept yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Beautiful. Um, yeah. <sighs> just trying to think, Sarah, if there was anything else. So if you, if for those of you who are feeling lost or feeling like you don't have clarity, or feeling like you don't know what the next step is, then I highly recommend you get the package C with Sarah, which is the um, Akashic Soul Purpose Reading Healing. That's yeah. package C, it's uh, $75. And there's a payment plan available and use the code TACS10. Um, for everybody else, get package A or B, which is the, uh, the key work, 90 minutes or 150 minutes to go really deep. Um, and again, there are payment plans available for those as well. So please do take a look at them, see which one resonates with you, which one you need more now. And um, they're again are available at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Sarah three, S A R A H three. I have 10 seconds, Sarah. I said it, I said we'd be done by you know this time. 10 seconds. That's it. 10 seconds. <laughs> we did it perfectly, <laughs> Alara. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it was great. And um, I hope it's helped everyone to, to remember to start planning what they want to bring to fruition this year, because this is a really powerful uh, year of light, as I put in um, my email. And although at the beginning of the year, Creator, I channeled this actually before, uh, way before Christmas. And this is what I got because I was in the process of moving house. So it, it never, mm -hmm. I never sent the email, but I've added, I added a bit to it that they channeled, but they said it's a very powerful year of light and we must keep the light because uh, things will continue to collapse at the beginning of uh, the few first few months of this year. So I think we have to, you know, keep doing what we're doing as a collective and hold yeah. love in our hearts and keep you know our strength and come yeah, together so, so hold love and light in your heart and radiate that out to the whole planet especially ukraine um the people of ukraine the people of russia and anywhere else where there is stuff going on there's so many places so that yeah. does make a difference it does make a difference you might not think it does because you're one person it does make a difference so please continue to do does. that yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. that helps you as well um yeah. And for those of you who are saying, but I still don't know what my plan is. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. Go into your heart, ask a question and say, what is my next step? Please show me. Yeah. We're not asking for a hundred steps. We're not asking for the final outcome. The next step right now, please yeah. show me. That's it. Absolutely. And remember, yeah. even if it takes seven years to get to where you think you <laughs> want to be, it doesn't matter. because Exactly. It really we're doesn't. We're eternal beings of light. And so there is, you know, time's just a, thing that we've given uh, to to ourselves to understand experience so in the world of light there's there's no so little steps big outcomes exactly just take that first step any step yep. any yep. step and i'm not kidding because that will start to shift your energy that will change your energy give you more clarity give you more awareness but it, until you take that first step any step you're in your head and like going into overwhelm, getting confused, judging yourself, blah, 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 all that stuff. Trust me, I know. So take one yeah. step, all right? Yeah. 
So thank you. And again, go back and listen to the process that uh, Sarah brought through right now. Um, it'll be on the replay. Listen to all the wonderful wisdom um, during this call with Sarah. Um, then just be willing to receive and just ask questions. It's all good. It's all good. You're perfect. Everything is all good. Okay. So Absolutely. just be gentle with yourself and send out that energy of gentleness also out to the world. People need that right now more than anything. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Any other last okay. words of wisdom? Just want to make sure uh, we didn't miss. No, no. Just remember that you are a creator being and that go out there and create. Create. Yeah. Yeah. And creating yep. means taking a step. Any step. Yeah, any step. Baby step. Yeah. You know, absolutely. even smaller than a baby step is fine. Okay. An absolutely. inch, anything. Okay. Yeah. You'll see your, you know, things will change. Yeah. But when, absolutely. yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Because otherwise, uh, Rebecca, you had your hand raised. I think that was by accident. Um, all right, Sarah, you know, tell your mom I'm sorry. It's three minutes over, but we're good. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, much love to everyone, and it's been lovely as usual to be on, Alara, and much love to you as well. Thank you so much, Sarah. And I am creation. Absolutely. That's a great affirmation, Tricia. Thank you for that. I am creation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Much better than I am in overwhelm or anything else, right? So I am creation. Yeah. Say, say that over and over again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. All okay. right, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, we, until tomorrow, we have another show tomorrow. So until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.